Yes. Good morning, everybody. I welcome you this uh, PPE class. This is my sixth lecture, sixth video lecture. Today we will uh, discuss about fields. What are the fields we are going to use in steam power plants, power plants, steam power plants? Okay. And then we are going to what are the uh, content of moisture contents, particularly different types of fuels in there. Those fuels, what is that the moisture content, and uh, how much it will be there, how the cook means uh, any fuel is going to be burned, and uh, we discuss particularly fuels, types of fuels. In the types of fuels, what is that uh, coal? What are the types of coals? What are the enthalpies of coal? Those things we will discuss. And upwards, solid fuels. And next, fuels means liquid fuels. That is, we will discuss what are the liquid fuels we are going to use it for burning up to generate that power. And after that, what is the gas we are going to use it to generate the power. So, these three things today we will discuss. So, what is that? Basically, what is that fear? The fear is nothing but it is that the combination of hydrogen and oxygen and it is going to be giving and it is uh, igniting that is called as fuel. That is called as fuel. So the fuel is defined as it is having a hydrocarbons combining with the oxygen and it is going to be giving heat generation. So that is called as fuel. In this uh, we are fuels, we are having three types of fuels we are having. One is uh, solid fuels. Next one is the liquid fuels. Third one is the gases fuels. Now we will discuss in the we will discuss how that combustion of fuel is going to take place of so combustion of combustion of power plants. If we want to generate that power, we want to ignite that fuel. So generally we are going to use it in uh, power parts, means uh, like what are the power parts we are going to use in the uh, fields is coal, oil and gas. So that is the thing that we discussed, solid fields, liquid fields, gas is fields. So generally these uh, three types of fields we are going to use it for to generate the power in power plants. So now we will see that there are in uh, particularly we are going for suppose if you go for solid fuels, in that solid fuel, I am going to considering as a coal is a solid fuel to generate the power in that steam power plant. So over there we have two analysis we do that. How we are going to analysis of the coal is one is that uh, approximate analysis, one is that approximate analysis, another one is that ultimate analysis. Generally, this coal we are going to do for approximate analysis, approximate analysis. So, over here, so in the approximate analysis, there are, we have to consider there will be a number of points to be there. There is a the number of points to be there. What is the number of points? How we are going to consider that coal? So, suppose coal is available, immediately we cannot use for combustion fuel. So, many factors we have to consider. After that, we are going to use that coal. So, over here, first one is that main important point is that moisture percentage of coal. How much moisture content is there? If the moisture content will be the more, so that the heat. We are unable to ignite that. We are unable to combustion of that fuel. 
we are unable to burn that uh, fear. So the we have to first of all we know that what is that mindset content in that code. Another these uh, all points will come under in proximate analysis. So next one is another uh, one uh, most important point is what is the percentage of coal after burning of that solid fuel after burning of that coal. What is that? Suppose if you are going to burn the coal, how much amount of percentage is going to coming out? What is that wastage? So that we have to consider here. What is that percentage of ash? Another thing is that what is that percentage of volatile matter? So how much evaporation is going out? So that volatile matter we have to consider it. So water, how much percentage of water is there? So that thing we have to clear it before sending to the soil cleared to our product. So another uh, point is that percentage of carbon. So that is very most important. If the percentage of the carbon is more, it is very difficult. What is that percentage of carbon? Not only carbon, what is the percentage of sulfur? What is the percentage of uh, H2O? What is the percentage of uh, nitrogen? What is the percentage of carbon monoxide? All these things we have to note it first of all. Okay? First of all, we have to note that what is that uh, percentage? So, that is uh, one of the main uh, point uh, for after burning out means we have to go for always we have to go for a eco friendly purpose. So for that we have to know that what is the percentage of carbon? Carbon percentage, how much after burning up the coal, that soil fuel, any fuel I can say that what is the percentage we can estimate. Any fuel, we can take this uh, uh, solid fuels, liquid fuels, gaseous fuels, and all the things, whatever it may be that we take. All fields we have to know that what is that percentage of carbon. And uh, as well as what is that percentage of sulfur, what we discussed, what is that percentage of ash, what is that percentage of fuel, what is that uh, temperature, what is that fusion temperature, degrading temperature. That is very most important. What is the temperature we are going to attain? Whether the material is going to be destroyed or not. That is the one of the point. Okay, so this is the future temperature and all of the uh, we are going to consider the ash, carbon, mineshare, water and water and all the things we are going to consider before going off our shop in power plant. So, so generally the percentage will be there 1 to 1, uh, 5 percent. 1 to 5 percent. In some uh, soil fields, the percentage of uh, moisture content is more, <coughs> sorry, more than uh, 40 percent also. So, then we have to segregate it and we have to return. Means we have to avoid for to send that commercial process, firing process. So, that is it. Moisture content will be there generally 1 to 5 percent. So, some of the cases it will be there for coal, it will be there more than 40 percent. Okay, so before that, we have to make this approximate analysis and then we have to send our fuel to the conversion in the product. Okay, so another uh, thing is there here classification of coals. Now, till now, we discussed soil fields. In that soil fields, we are uh, taking that types of coal. What are the stages of coal? We will see that. What are the different, different types? Namely, first of all, first uh, coal is that uh, after the beginning of the from the air, we are having, we can see that, well, first one is wheat, after that, uh, lignite, after that, uh, sub vitamin A, vitamin A is coal, next, uh, vitamin A is coal, next, semi vitamin A is next, semi anthracite, next, anthracite coals, Next, super coals. So, all this having, this coals is having enthalpy of conversion. What is the theoretic value? Each mm -hmm. coal is a piece, this is a type of coals we are having different, different enthalpies. 
First, we will see that what is that the empathy after compassion after when the goal is that what is that that the goal is that 2930 kilojoule per kg. 2930 kilojoule per kg. That is the calorific value of feet. Calorific value of feet. That is the calorific value. After that, we have met. So, at the end of the combustion, whenever the combustion process is going on, that the grinding process is going on, that the firing process is going on, and that the the calorific value of that particular ligonite is 13,800 to 17,585 kilojoules per kg. That is the uh, variation between that. In, in between that, uh, this calorific value will vary that one. So, another one is semi vitamin techniques. Semi vitamin techniques. So, that whole combustion of the enthalpy is near about 18,840 to 23,000 kilojoule per kg. 23,000 kilojoule per kg. So, these uh, values we have to fix in this only the Bilbao score, semi Bilbao score will be that value in 18,840 to 23,000 kilojoule per kg. After that, we will pay this value, that is a semi. After that, the coal is going to be becoming as 23,000 kilojoules per kg to 34,750 kg. 34,750 kg. That is the therapeutic value of that particular goal for combustion process to ignite that process. Another one is that semi vitamineous that is sub vitamineous sub vitamineous semi vitamineous so here the goal is to have enthalpy near about 27,200 to 35,600 kilojoule per kg. So that much of heat is going to be delivered at the time of combustion. At the time of combustion, that is the calorific value of the particular fuel. fuel. So next is semi sign. Semi anthracite is 33,500 to it will vary 34,750. 34,750. So that is a semi anthracite calorific value. Another uh, one is that anthracite quotes. So why we are not mentioned over here? Why? Because we have all six uh, classified here. Of course, they are, they are having large quantities more. That's why we are going to mention it our, I mentioned about their uh, calorie values. So here, the ash is very low. That's why the other side coal we are going to use it. But it is very, very fast after refining, refining, refining. It will be there. Why it is uh, the ash is very low? So there is a moisture content is very less in that coal. The moisture content of the coal is very less. So the over there, here is uh, we are mentioned uh, not mentioned the coal, not mentioned the uh, calorific value. Okay. Next, another one is the super anthracite coal. So the percentage of carbon, see I have said uh, all uh, six uh, coals, different types of coals, uh, you take. Uh, Peat, lignite, semi vitamineous vitamineous semi vitamineous semi anthracite and all the clothes, more than 8% is of carbon. More than 8% means the carbon percentage is more, carbon monoxide percentage is more, more. sulfur is more, nitrogen is more, nitrogen oxide is also more. So that all these things, that's why I am not mentioning about that. Here, all the things will be there more than 8%. Here, this uh, super anthracite coal is less than 8%. We are going to less than 8%. So, next uh, going up, we discussed it long, this is that soil fields. In that soil fields, different types of coal. We study it. Next, we will go for uh, liquid fields, means that is a fire fields. Suppose generally we are going to use it oil fuels, whatever we are having, petrol we are going to use it, diesel we are going to use it, 
diesel combustion cycle is there for the, the, the uh, four period petroleum uh, combustion cycle is there we have to go for that month so all this is but generally I take it as petroleum petrol so we are having what are the products we are going to available for combustion products for first one is that petroleum uh, diesel kerosene and white also so we are going to use it for combustion of uh, 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 aerodynamics okay or then we are going to use it so here this oil fields i have taken only petroleum so what is that uh, percentage of carbon where it is going to be burned so i am going to doing that uh, analysis what is that carbon is 84 percent it is going to be using whatever the, the Whenever uh, the combustion process is occurred, so here that is the eighty-four percent. Next year, hydrogen is going to be releasing twelve percent, and uh, sulfur is two percent, and the oxygen is uh, one point zero percent. Means uh, not oxygen, that's a word. Okay, is going to be releasing by one point one point zero percent. Okay, and yet uh, uh, hydrogen hydrogen oxide is going to be and what is that white chip content to when the petrol is burned? 3.5% is of white chip content is there. 3.5% white chip content is there. Okay. Another, what is that economic value of that? Uh, uh, here we did so many um, problems in the thermal engineering. So, that is that 42,560 kilos of the pH. 42,000. 560 kilos of per kg. So, what is that uh, 5 point and uh, flash point will be there? What is that uh, 5 point and uh, flash point uh, will be there for uh, 93.33 centimeters? So, another one is that, first of all, uh, three types of fuels are good uh, soil fuels, liquid fuels, gases fuels. So, gases fuels means we are having that uh, uh, gas is available in the air, different, different basins we are having. Godavari basin and uh, some um, Bayar Bengal basin and uh, Arabian Sea basin. So, there are different, different uh, basins we are having and we are going to uh, acquire means we are going to getting that uh, gases. So, what are their natural level? One point that I am sure of that here in uh, whenever uh, liquid fuels we are going to uh, distillation. We are going to distillation that uh, petroleum, diesel, kerosene, and other fuels, right? Also, and uh, mud oils. So, over there, we are going to distillation this fuels. After that, only we are going to use it. After that, only we are to find out these percentages, means approximate analysis. So, over there, here, that the distillation process, we are going to say as yes, it is. Uh, you know, Straight run distillation process. Whenever the oils is going to be distilled, that process is called as straight run distillation. And uh, mm -hmm. cracking, we are uh, cracking distillation process is also distillation, but without catalyst, without catalyst, we are going to purify the one that is called as cracking. That is named as cracking. These two products are really important. And coming to the uh, uh, gas sphere, what is the gas sphere we are having? Natural uh, gas is available. And it is also called as manufactured gas. This natural gas is also we are going to call gas manufactured gas. So, this manufactured gas we are subdivided into ethanol and methanol. Ethanol and methanol. So, what is that uh, ethanol and methanol? So, what is the therapeutic value of the ethanol and ethanol is 55,000. 55,000. And uh, it is going to be coming to that uh, 37,000 kilojoules per kg. These two things is going to be coming. Okay. These two things. Okay. This is ethanol and ethanol. So, how we are going to see by uh, solid fields, therapeutic values. Here also we are going to see uh, this therapeutic uh, value of but yeah, gas is so here and uh, we are generally this natural gas we are going to use it by power generation process. Power generation. 
So, with this, I am telling you that. So, this we are going to where, where, uh, uh, how this fear is. The fear is combined with the hydrocarbons, uh, and it is going uh, with the mixing with the means it is combined with the oxygen, and uh, the heat will be generated. Okay, that heat we are going to use in different different purposes. Okay, so that is part of fear reduction. And after fear, uh, we are generally in our uh, sector. We are going to use in solid fuels, liquid fuels, gases. In the we are going to use in coal, in uh, power generation methods, and the oil and gas. So we are going to divide it into type uh, methodologies. So how we are going to cannot send the fuel to the directly for combustion process. So that over there, approximate analysis and the ultimate analysis. So that over there we are going to use. So here percentage of much and uh, we are going to say percentage of gas. Before that, what is that log I had percentage and percentage of log. So generally this coal is having one to five, one to five percent. And uh, whereas uh, this uh, generally some of other special cases, more than forty percent uh, moisture content will be there. So that is that uh, related that. Uh, that uh, approximate analysis and ultimate analysis. Now, what is that? Uh, we consider what is that? That's what we In that uh, classification of coal, is that P degrade semi bituminous and uh, sub bituminous, semi bituminous, and semi anthracite and anthracite coals and super anthracite coals. So, different different calorific values for combustion of that fuel. So, another uh, high fuels you get. Oil fuels we are going to consider in petroleum, diesel, kerosene, and white fuels. Okay, all these things. In the oil fuels, whenever there is no catalyst, that process is going to call gas cracking. That process we are going to call gas cracking. Another one is that, uh, another one process is that, that process we are going to say here, yes, uh, the distillation process. Thus, the process we are going to find here is a straighter process. Okay, another uh, the carbons will be there whenever we are burning, particularly petroleum, I take, uh, we are going to use it uh, for uh, generating power, and the diesel also we are going to use it for generating the power. Different parameters are there. Moisture uh, content, how much moisture content is there? What is the flash point? And everything. Okay, another uh, last one is the gas. In that gas, we are going to use the natural gas. That natural gas, we are going to say, yes, this is a um, manufactured gas. Generally, this is natural gas we are going to use it for generate that power. Generate that power. So, now gas is also in there. We are going to use the liquid petroleum gases, LPG gases. Even though with that, we are running the vehicles. Okay, but it is not uh, uh, we are using, but uh, it is not come under into the uh, mark number one. Whereas uh, liquid fuels we are going to use in gases fuels, somewhat it will, it will be uh, not up to the mark, but it is uh, dangerous. Whenever it is a small uh, temperature, it is going to be burned. So that that's why it is not uh, uh, it is not using by. Earlier they are going to connect with that cylinder some they are using, but nowadays it is not there. Even though that uh, we are saying that it is uh, eco friendly, but there is gas we are going to use to pull that load is very difficult. To pull that uh, load is very difficult. Whenever liquid fuel is burning, then we are going to bring load is more. Whenever this is uh, gases we are going to burn, same uh, amount of uh, heat generation on the coming. But the calorific values is coming down. So over there we are unable to pull that loads. That's a very most important for us. How much load used to be pulled out. Okay. So another one is there, uh, we are going to use the gases, fuels, methanol, ethanol also we are going to use it to generate that power. Okay. Thank you. We will discuss next class.